Hey, Andrew Kramer here, and welcome to my After Effects lightsaber tutorial. Here's what we're going to be creating. Very nice. This is my friend Sam Loya, and of course, he brings it every time he gets into the Jedi costume. And also, I want to thank my friend Larry Costales for the authentic lightsaber. He probably had to outbid some poor schmuck on eBay at the last second. But hey, whatever works. So before I show you how we're going to be creating this lightsaber effect, let me just quickly show you how I've seen it other places on the internet. So what I'm going to do is take our Sam Swing footage and drag it into the new comp button and basically create a new solid um, white. And then I'm going to lower the opacity down 50% or whatever so I can see what's underneath it. Zoom in here, take the pen tool and basically draw a shape around the lightsaber. And you're going to need essentially you're going to need at least 4 points but possibly more. And then if you hit the letter M, bring up the mask shape and we set the stopwatch for a keyframe and basically go page down and move these points one by one and basically rotoscope the whole lightsaber frame by frame yeah so anyway this is a good way to do it and then after you do that you would basically add a glow to it and there you go now, for the average Star Wars fan filmmaker, this method is a bit unrealistic. Even with the lack of a normal social life, this method leaves very little time to watch TV, collect toys, and try out new online dating websites because the last one didn't work out. Oh, hang on a sec. Let me just move this out of the way here. So instead of just demonstrating how others have done it, I've actually created an easy-to-use preset that we're going to work with. So I'm going to delete this layer and now we have our footage in a blank composition again I'm gonna create a new solid and we're gonna call this saber and choose OK it doesn't matter what color just make sure it's comp size and choose OK then come over to the effects presets go down to Andrew Kramer and VFX and we have this fancy lightsaber preset simply drag it out to our blank layer and bam we have a lightsaber ready to go now this is an expressions based lightsaber so there's a lot of things going on in the background but you only need to worry about what's in the saber controls so let me just quickly go through the different options here and explain them first we have the show glow so we turn that off and we can create just a draft preview of what the lightsaber um, base looks like and this is good for two reasons one it renders a lot faster but two you can also see the lightsaber a little bit better when you're trying to position the points so when you're getting into these small spaces you can tell a little bit better um, unlike when you have the glow on so that makes it a lot easier to you know go frame by frame now of course we have the color simply just change the color to anything you want you can have a friendly Jedi or you can have an evil Jedi or anything in between then we have the start and end position as you just saw me move basically what you'll do is select the name saber controls and move these two points around just make sure that you use the start position and put it at the base of the lightsaber and the end position somewhere where you think it ends now that's important for the next setting we have the extend and if we bring that down to zero we can extend it and if our glows on you can see what that would do so if you have it reversed obviously you're gonna have a problem and we have the thickness so at any time we can adjust the thickness and that way if our saber is you know a really nice replica or if it's one of those crappy retractable ones and it's a little bit thicker you know you'll be able to work with it also you have the glow amount we have our secondary glow, our extra glow, and that just kind of gives an outer glow. We have our shutter speed, which I'll go over in a moment, and then we have our light flicker, which is basically adds a little bit of a pulsing effect um, when it's still so that it just has a little bit more life, as you can see. So 
To optimize this, however, I turn the flicker down to zero and the extra glow to zero also. So this will give you a good looking lightsaber that renders pretty fast. But of course the extra glow does make it look a little nicer and the light flicker you know, adds a little something. Okay, let's take it from step one. I'm going to create a new solid and I'm going to call this green saber. And this will just help if we have multiple sabers like in a fight sequence to know which one we're referring to. And I'm going to make sure it's comp size and choose OK. Then I'm going to go over to my effects and presets, Andrew Kramer, and down to VFX. Now, you can get these presets from the website and simply put them into your effects and presets folder. And whether you're on 6.5 or 7, just copy the Andrew Kramer folder right in there and they'll show up just like this. And when they do, just drag it out to our blank solid. So what you want to do is set a keyframe for the start position by clicking the stopwatch and for the end position by clicking the stopwatch. Then with the name Saber Controls selected, you'll see we get these two controllers that allow us to move it around. So if you just get in there, we can move our start position into place. And you can see that the start position numbers move when you move that particular operator around. So make sure you're moving the start position to the base and the end to the end. And for now, I'm going to shut the show glow off. And that way, this will just render a lot faster as we go through. So the first thing you want to do is get the lightsaber in place onto one frame. Then using page up and page down, go through and just reposition these points. And because the stopwatch is on, it will automatically create a keyframe every time you move it. And if you hit U, you can actually see the start and end position keyframes. Uh, generating. So I'm going to hit page down and just with the saber control selected move the saber points. Now it may not be the greatest thing but at least you're not moving four points. And you don't have to be perfect just basically get it into place. Now when the lightsaber moves quickly you're going to notice that it begins to have motion blur. So what you want to do is basically split the difference of the motion blur and just make sure it lines up with the actual handle of the lightsaber. And that'll be your best bet. Also oftentimes you won't be able to see the end of the lightsaber so just make sure you estimate about how far off frame it is and that way you'll get better motion blur. Okay, so when you're done, you're gonna have something like this. Now, all you need to do is turn on the show glow and hit zero on the keyboard and play it back. Okay, so as you can see, motion blur is automatically being calculated for fast movements. And that's all based on the expression that I've already pre-created that you don't even need to um, touch or even think about for that matter. Now, say you want more motion blur or less motion blur. What you can do is in the saber controls, go down to the shutter speed. You can either increase the shutter speed so you'll see less blur or decrease it to see more blur. And basically, you want to experiment with this and play it back. Now this may seem like too much, but if you play it back, it actually looks pretty fluid. So depending on what look you're after, I like the number about 40, and that gives a pretty fluid motion without overdoing it. But the control is there, so you can do it however you like. Now the good thing about this is when you have motion blur in your actual footage, the lightsaber will essentially cover over that when the blur is on. So maybe a good rule is to just bring the shutter speed to just enough to cover over what's being blurred in the live action footage and that always looks really good. Let's try a, a blue lightsaber here. That might be kind of nice. No, let's go more. Okay, I'm going to play this back. Okay, looking pretty good. Now, of course, if you need to add another lightsaber, just create a new solid call this red saber take the lightsaber preset drag it onto that change the color to whatever you want it to be and simply animate the start and end position 
of this lightsaber so it matches up with your other character. Now, of course, if the lightsabers intersect, so let me show you that really quick. They're clearly on top of each other, and we don't want that. So what you want to do is change the transfer mode for the layers that have lightsabers on them. If you hit F4, that'll bring it up. You want to change the transfer mode to lighten, and that will basically blend them together without affecting the color too much. If you do add, it starts to get a little funky, and if you do screen, so I found that the lighten mode works very, very well for doing this type of effect. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name is Andrew Kramer, and you can visit me at creativecow.net in the After Effects and Photoshop forums, or you can visit my website at www.videocopilot.com.